Hi, I'm James Gangle, and today's big problem is bison. Why, son? Because I thought to myself, why don't I buy some? And like the child of two immigrant parents, when something goes on sale at Costco, I buy it. All of it. Now, I have 100 pounds of ground bison, and I don't know what the f*** to do with it. So today on Little Bison, we're making bison meatballs. Come on. All right, bison meatballs, very simple. Turns out, most things you do with beef, you can do with bison. So we're gonna start with our two pounds of bison, two pounds down, 98 to go. And uh, we're just gonna crack in a couple of eggs. So that's one. And that's two. And then we're gonna put in two cloves of garlic. Boom. And then about a tablespoon and a half of finely diced parsley. Bang. And we're gonna put in about a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano. There you go, that's how you have to say that. It's the only way to say Parmigiano Reggiano is with great gusto, because it's a, it's a cheese that deserves great gusto. We're gonna put in a splash of Worcestershire. Like that, like that, ah, let's put in that much. That's a splash. And then salt and pepper to taste. And a lot of people say, James, <laughs> what is to taste? And I say, just taste that raw meat. Does it taste good? Then you've got the right taste. Of course, that's crazy. Uh, don't eat raw meat. Don't do that. Here's the trick. Imagine you've got your chunk of meat out there, and you're going to cover both sides, okay? So I got two chunks of meat. I'm going to cover this one side. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to cover the other side. There you go. So just imagine that you're, you're covering each side of a steak or your chunk of ground beef with salt, and that's about to taste. Now we're just going to uh, combine all of this stuff together. So look at that. And uh, this is one of those things you just get your hands dirty with. And mush that up. So, you know, I probably won't buy bison again for 50 years. You know, it'll be my bicentennial. <laughs> Got to write that down. Hey, Siri, take a note. Bicentennial. That isn't funny, James. You should know better. She's right. Okay, so we have our ground bison all combined here. We're going to add some Italian breadcrumbs, about a cup and a half of that. So just add a, a, about a half cup at a time, okay? And then some water. So uh, again, add about a half cup at a time. What we're looking for in the consistency of our, our meatball is it's going gonna, it's gonna to be feel wet, you know, we want a juicy meatball, but not fall apart, right? It's wet. It's a good wet. It's like the kind of wet, it's a hot day and you're at a theme park or something and they've got those little cooling stations and it's that mist that falls upon you. Only this mist is two pounds of bison meat. Okay, yes, that is feeling good. You see, it's, it's nice and wet like a day at a theme park, but also holds together. So there, that's our, our finished mixed bit. Now we're ready to form some meatballs. So let's get that done. I like my balls a little bit big. I <laughs> like the big balls. That's inappropriate. So I'm gonna form them to be about an inch or so. So uh, you just take a chunk of meatball out, you form them with your hands, and um, I feel, like that's a pretty good size for a meatball don't you think right and i like to coat them with a bit of flour i feel like then then uh, they kind of hold together even more so uh we're gonna see you know how many meatballs we get out of this uh out of this two pounds of bison dear god i've got a lot of bison <laughs> when both of your parents are immigrants uh, you eat a lot of things that regular Canadians or Americans don't eat day to day, like rabbit or uh, what was also some weird stuff. I don't know, octopus is pretty weird. Although, you know, I can't really eat octopus anymore because there's that documentary about that cute little octopus friendship with that man in the sea. Hard to eat a creature that is smarter than most two-year-olds. We should start eating 18-month-olds. What else is going on? <laughs> I didn't really expect to do a hot 10 as I formed meatballs. 
I'll just edit it out. Hey Siri, can you read that joke back to me? Bicentennial. <laughs> Still not funny. So here's the last one. Looks like we got all these meatballs done. Now we're going to toss these in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes. At 10 minutes, we're going to give them a little turn uh, uh, so they don't get too flat on one side. Uh, and then they'll be ready to eat. We'll try them out. Bison meatballs. Oh, those smell so good. Look how brown and delicious those babies look. Yum. And now I got to try it out. I don't know what a bison meatball tastes like. I better like it because I have 98 pounds left to eat. So uh, yeah, let's give this a shot. We'll put a couple of meatballs out here, like so. And now let's cut them open and see what it's like. Oh yes, look at that. Oh yum! We'll finish them off with a bit of Parmesan and a little bit of parsley for color. And now let's give it a shot. Mmm! That's so good. It's so, uh, bison -y. Siri, read that joke back to me. The still not funny joke is bicentennial. No, it's not very good. I like it, the big meatballs. Happy. <laughs>